So Mike's been great communicator from day one. I know how it's like, like what it's like to have a guy who is off season that might not look the same as Chris, as far as, you know, he might not be there every single day from the get go, but man, when he was there, he was grinding. Hey, I thought it was all over. I mean, before we say anything, mad 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 big shout out to the pewter report if you want to know something about dave canales brad itzik or others from the bucks staff or anybody that's been on the bucks as of late the pewter report is the place to go okay i'm gonna make sure to tag them they do great work this is a part of a more than one hour interview that they did i am super excited for this let's jump right into it you look at um you know at your time in seattle uh you you know, you had the opportunity to coach a, a pair of pro bowlers, right? And Tyler Lockett, who went, went to mama mater, Kansas State. I'm a huge Lockett guy. Um, and DK Metcalf. And, uh, you know, um, I, I feel bad for you that you have to coach, you know, two more pro bowlers here, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, right? I mean, th- th- I'm just, I'm kidding, obviously. But, but you know, to, to have the, the really the privilege of, of having, you know, a great wide receiver room, um, you know, a couple thousand yard guys there in Seattle and then come to Tampa with different type players, but yet similar track record for success. Uh, w- what has that transition been like for you? Oh, it's it's been awesome. And one, it starts with the players. So uh, there's a reason that Chris and Mike have done so well for so long. Uh, Chris is the ultimate pro, like from day one. Uh, he's, he's so professional and it, it's, the first day on the field, I'll, I'll never forget it. First day on the field, I'm coaching something up. The first rep, and we're talking stance and start, something very basic. Yeah. And I coach something up, and then I, you know, you have to go let the whole group go until you can make your point again to yeah. the, to the group of, of corrections. And um, I'm heading back after everybody's done. There's like eight guys or so. I'm heading back, and I'm about to make a point. And of course, Chris is already coaching up another guy, and. <laughs> um, by the time I get there, I start making my point, and Russ, Russell Gage is like, "Yo, coach, coach, did you like, did you like prep Chris on that? Did you tell him like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, no, man, that's that's what it looks like." That's wow. Um, shout out to him. First of all, Brett Idzik was hired as the offensive coordinator coordinator for my Carolina Panthers. That's why we're doing this video, trying to understand more of who he is. He came from Seattle, like they said, two great wide receivers out there. Two great wide receivers when he's coming into the Bucks, being their wide receiver coordinator um, or wide receiver coach. Um, but there is one thing I want to touch on with him, and something that I think is going to be something moving forwards inside the Carolina organization. Um, also, again, I want to give some props to the Pewter Report. This was posted July 23rd, 2023, with only 360 views as of recording right now. But you're talking about, man, this is a huge interview that they did. So, again, mad shout out to them. But the another interview that I found that Brad Itzik did um, comes August 6th, 2023. Um, he did it with the SU USA president. SU is the Scripture Union USA. SU president's name is Miss Gail Martin. Uh, he did about a 21-minute interview with them. I'm not going to do a breakdown of that one, but if you guys want to go find it, I should be able to link it below. Um, but he, as well as Dave, is a very faithful man, very faith-based, um, really lives his way through the scripture and everything like that. So I'm very curious to see how many more people have that same um, qualifier, essentially. I'm very curious to see if that aided in his hiring, because obviously they did work together previously, so they do have that. But does this end up bringing more people together and stuff like that? It's going to be really interesting, especially in a place like Carolina. So. That's yeah, what it looks like Chris is uh Chris has been amazing that way, and it's been amazing. He hasn't missed a day, hasn't missed a minute of meetings and off season program. Um, it's a guy who takes care of his body, a guy who's obviously now a year removed from his injury. He's gonna you know just take another step and in, in confidence and in, you know the, his knee stability and everything. So he's he's been amazing. And then there's Mike, um, obviously the model of consistency in this league. So Mike's been great communicator from day one. I know how it's like, like what it's like to have a guy who is off season that might not look the same as Chris, as far as, you know, he might not be there every single day from the get go, but man, when he was there, he was grinding and he was very upfront about everything um, from the start. 
and he's very professional. You go to his, his foundation dinner and you look at a guy who loves his community, loves his family and loves his teammates. Like um, when your strength coach comes in and he's raving, he just want, he's like, hey, I want you to I want you to know when Mike is in the building, there's not a better worker. Right. That's all you could ask for from a receiver room because, you know, that's not always the case. Um, but to have those two guys leading the charge in the room and then have a plethora of guys, Russell Gage having a lot of experience and then in young guys now where they have yeah. those models to look at. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely fortunate. And I was extremely fortunate to work with Tyler and DK. Um, but again, it's the players that make the make the coaches in that regard, because those two guys are phenomenal mm -hmm. human beings as well. A shout out to the Peter Report. Like I said, if you want to know anything about the Bucks, man, they're the place to go. Even former coaches, they've done interviews with pretty much all of them, done interviews with players. The Peter Report is the place to go if you're a Tampa Bay Bucks fan. But if you're here, you're just enjoying it with me. I thought that was good. Brad Itzik looks like a motivated, focused, and prepared guy, just like Dave Canales. Again, they have that, that faith connection, so that's going to be good moving forwards. We're hoping to obviously add a great wideout on the outside. I would love to add a Mike Evans, like he said, or Chris Godwin or somebody like that. But we're going to see what happens moving forwards. In the meantime, my name is Nick. This has been Roll Coverage. I appreciate you all rolling with us. Have a great rest of the day. Peace.